So when you open the software, uh, more or less, it's going to look uh, almost exactly as I have it here. The first thing that you want to do is, so say you want to import uh, a model that you made in another software, say like Maya. So the first thing you would do is come here where it says tool on the side. And if you don't have this for some reason, you can always get it here. It says tool. And there it is. But normally it's just going to appear here on the side. So what you're going to do is just click where it says import. Now one thing to remember is that you have to import this as an OBJ. So should, I should say uh, you have to export your model from the modern program uh, like Maya. Make sure to export the model as an OBJ. So you go here where it says import. So once you have selected import, the first thing you're going to notice is that uh, your model, first of all, is going to be here appear as a tool, and all these other options are going to appear as well. But uh, you probably noticed that maybe you were expecting the model to appear here on the window. So to in order to get that, you have to uh, left mouse click and drag. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to maximize my screen space here is um, I'm going to disable the light box. The light box is all these options here. So I'm going to disable that by clicking here. So now if we left mouse click and drag, there's our dinosaur. And maybe we're getting it this way. If you hold down shift, it's going to kind of snap to, to the front view. Or depending on on what uh, angle you have it. So say uh, there it is. I uh, got the model. It's in the screen space. So you might think that, okay, so we're ready to continue and sculpt and whatnot. But if you left mouse uh, and drag again, you see that you're getting more, more of the same. You're kind of, it looks like you're import, importing more of uh, the same object. You probably don't want that because obviously you maybe just want to work on one object and not all these that are uh, you're getting here. So I'm going to undo, and now let's uh, left mouse click and drag. And it doesn't matter where it where it appears in the screen. So now, in order, in order to actually start working on it, you have to make sure to click here, which is Edit or T. That's the quickie for it. So once you hit Edit, you can actually work on the model. As you can see here and now uh, so for navigation what you want to do is uh, right mouse click and drag is to kind of rotate around alt right mouse click and drag is to pan around the area control and right mouse click and drag is to zoom in and out Also, if you hold down Alt, then right mouse click and drag. If you left go Alt, but but don't let go right mouse click and drag, you can also kind of uh, zoom in and out. Now, when you're rotating around the model, you may you may like the way uh, you're kind of rotating here. It's kind of the X, Y, and Z axis. But sometimes you get kind of weird angles that maybe uh, you're not satisfied with maybe you don't like this way that the way that you're rotating this so if you're going to work with uh, something that feels more like Maya let's say Maya is normally set to uh, rotate around the Y axis so you can do that by clicking here you can also select the Z axis or uh, the default is always X Y and Z so I'm going to set this to Y so that I gotta have a better I like this better, uh, it feels more like Maya to me. Now if you have it this way, maybe uh, it was rotated in um, kind of weird angle here. If you hold down shift, it snaps to whatever uh, the closest view is. Say I have it somewhat like this and I hold down shift, it's going to kind of snap to the side view. Same with this, back view. If I hold down shift,
Another thing to remember is that when you import a model, it's normally set to uh, an orthographic view. So if you want to set, you want to be working in perspective, here's the perspective button for it. Or you can just press B. And there you go. Now we're working with perspective view. Okay. Also, if you wanted the grid, you can also get the grid if you want to shift B or click here, of course. So that's uh, basically really the basics of how to navigate uh, inside of ZBrush and how to import your models.